Hello friends, welcome to my YouTube channel CapTech Pro. In this video, we'll see how to add the header image in SharePoint site. So guys, before we proceed, let's discuss what are the impacts of adding the header image on our SharePoint site. So guys, when we are branding our site headers, it is the easy way to provide the impact and expressions to our SharePoint site. Over the past years, Microsoft got a feedback from their customers that they would like more options for the site headers. So with the feedback of the customers, they have introduced uh, two new site header layouts like the minimal and the extended one which we will be discussing on this video and they also have added more header configuration which will give you the opportunity to control over the elements in the SharePoint site header. So these basically are the simple and small changes uh, which will bring the great impact on the look of your SharePoint site. So guys let's go to our lab environment and let's see how we can add the header image in the SharePoint site. So friends, now we are on our SharePoint Admin Center and let's open any site. So I have created this site with the name of header. This is my team site. Let's go here. And as you can see, as of now, this header is not looking that much attractive. For adding the header image, we'll click on the gear icon. And then we have the option of change the look. So let's click on it. Then we got a three option themes, header and navigations. So in our previous video, we already discussed about the navigation. Now let's click on header and you can see under the layout, we are getting an option of minimal. So if I click on it, you can see the area is now reduced of the header. If I click on compact, this is the by default selection. And now this is the option of standard in which just below the SharePoint site name, you will get the type of group you have with this site. We have already seen these three layouts, but you, you can see like we are not getting the option to add the header image over here. So to add the header image, we always we have to select the option of extended. So if I'll click on extended, you can see we got this option of adding the image. You can see when we are clicking on standard, that option is disappearing. But if I'll click on extended, we are getting that option. And just below that we have the backgrounds like the themes will come on it later. Okay, so now to upload the image on the header, we'll click on upload. And here I have an image. Let me select this image and I will open it. So you can see the image is now applied to the header. You can change the focus of the image. Okay, after selecting the focus of the image, then we'll go a bit down and then we have the option of display site title visibility. So if I unselect this, you will not be seeing the site name. And similarly, you can add the site logo thumbnail and the site logo. And if you want to change the alignment of the logo, you can select this. Like if you want it to be on middle, you can select this. Then you can change it as per your choice. And after selecting the header image, if you want to remove it, you can simply click on remove or you can also change the header image. Now we'll click on save. Let me close this and you can see now the header image is applied on this particular site. Now let us see one more thing like if I'll go to SharePoint Admin Center and let's open any one of the associated hub site. So this time I will open my this site home. And similarly, I will try to change the header image. Let me click on the gear icon and if I'll click on change the look again, we'll go to header, we'll select extended. And from here, we'll upload the header image. Okay. And now I will click on save. So this is my associated hub site. So if I'll go to my hub site, which is the fly hub and with the fly hub, this site home is associated. So if I'll go to my site fly hub from here, you can see this particular site has its own header image. If any site is associated with the hub site and if you we'll try to change the header image, it will not be seen on other associated hub site. So friends, that's conclude our video demonstration. That's how we can change the header image. For more informative videos, you can check my other video links on the screen and subscribe my channel and press bell icon for more upcoming videos. I will see you guys in next video.